Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about the capability of Oracle Analytics to visualize geometry data types directly on the map. This is a very powerful feature that enables to visualize any shape, polygon, lines, or points directly on the map without the need for any pre-loaded map layers. So before we start, you or your system administrator need to check that this capability is activated on your environment. This is very easy. Navigate to Consoles, System Settings, and there, among the choices, click on the Preview features. Make sure that the Enable Geometry Data Type flag is switched to On. If it's off, just switch it to On. Make sure that you hit Apply button to enable your system. And this is done only once and for all. And once I have done this, Oracle Analytics will recognize geometry data types coming from CSV files or from database tables. Here is an example of a CSV file that contains a geometry column of type WKT, well-known text. This is a common format for geometry data expressing shapes, lines, or points. And as you can see in my example here, I have polygons for every single building in the city of Paris in France. Now, as I create a data set in Oracle Analytics, with this CSV file containing the WKT geometry column, the system will automatically recognize this as a geometry data type natively. You can see the column right there. And notice that I cannot see the geometry data in the column in the data prep. And the geometry column here is associated with map visualizations. If I double click on the column in my canvas, it will immediately show me all the polygons represented in a map visualization here, we're seeing about 110,000 different shapes next to each other, and each single polygon is drawing exactly its definition from the CSV WKT format. Of course, that layer has all the properties that any other map layer has. So of course, I can add a background, a map background in this case. I can add color, use attributes, just interact with this visualization just like you're used to in Oracle Analytics with existing maps today or any other visualization. And in this case, for instance, I'm showing the eight of the building number of floors as a color edge here for my map. So I can see every single building polygon shape here having a distinct color. So if I look at the layer here, it is a geometry map layer. It's not a preloaded map layer. And of course, here again, I can fine tune all the property, the formatting aspects and properties of the map layer itself, playing with transparency, outline, labels, and so on. And let's add a few objects as tooltips in this map. So I'm adding both matrices and attributes here, and the query will fetch that information again. And not only will the tooltips show on the map, obviously, but it is also important because in the case of geometry, Adding some object ID as part of the grammar will enable some specific features. So let me filter this map a little further down so we have less data to deal with. And because I added an object ID in my map tooltip, I can now select and keep select map geometries. If I didn't have an object ID, this feature wouldn't work because there is no way to filter on a geometry uh, uh, column. But because I added an object ID, the keep selected option was possible. And of course, all the interactions with the table that I have on my canvas here, such as brushing and all the filterings are all possible. This is very powerful because the map visualization can act as a very intuitive filtering mechanism for end users. Just like with any other maps, we can also add multiple distinct layers. And in this case, let us add a data set that is not connected coming from a database table. So this is not a CSV file anymore. It's a database table that also holds a geometry column. So I'm going to add a database geometry column that was recognized as a geometry by OAC in the map. And you can see that this now represents all the streets in Paris overlaid over my initial map. So let me format this so that we can read it a little bit better, the lines a little thinner. And now we have our two layers on top of each other, and we could accumulate as many layers as, as we want. Both of these layers here are using a geometry column, so I have no pre-loaded layers. Let me filter this so that we see only the top long um, segments in Paris streets. So here are top 10 segments. Let me color it as well. So you can see the power of the visualization that geometry columns can bring into OAC. So a few words 
Of course, the data is dynamic in this case. As the data refreshes in the database, the shapes will change on my map. There is a limitation with size of single geometries. OAC will only tolerate up to 120 KB per single geometry record. Beyond that point, they will not be represented. And there are also good practices into manipulating these objects so that you know, massive maps may take a bit. In addition to this, Geometry data types comes with many new capabilities in the domain of spatial calculation, which is very exciting, but this will be shown in a different video. In the meantime, thank you very much for your time watching this video today.